Recently, cell service provider AT&T experienced a nationwide outage, leaving many unable to use their cellular data. The outage should be resolved quickly, but it could cause problems in the meantime for those who are in need of emergency services. Pikeville Dispatch has some advice on how to prepare for future outages. Um, the best way to get in contact with 911 right now um, during this issue um, is to try to turn on Wi-Fi calling on your cell phones. Um, so far what I've seen um, from AT&T's emails is that the Wi-Fi calling has not really been affected. So that's what we're recommending people do is try to turn that on um, if you have it available. Um, of course, if you can get to a landline, none of the landlines seem to be affected. Appalachian Community Care offers outpatient medication-assisted treatment for addiction, counseling, and behavioral play therapy for children, accepting Medicare and all major insurance. Recovery is hard. Regret is harder. Appalachian Community Care, Pikeville, Whitesburg, 606-432-5660. Find them on Facebook. If there's an ongoing outage, it's best to be prepared by keeping a basic first aid kit, a fire extinguisher, and remaining calm. Other times, it's best to ask someone else for help. It's always a good idea to have, you know, basic first aid. Um, it's just like any other emergency scenario. Um, you can never be too prepared. Um, always try to keep a little bit of basic necessities, um, but we expect this to be resolved relatively quickly. In the event of an emergency, you know, stay calm. Like I said, try to get your uh, Wi-Fi calling turned on to try to get a 911 call out. Um, and if you're in an area that that's not possible, um, don't hesitate to ask you know, others for help. Um, some of the other carriers don't seem to be affected. And if you're in the downtown area, um, go into a business if there's an emergency, because most all the businesses still have landlines. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.